Okay, I don't think I need to show this to you on paper. I'm going to take my previous program. So in my previous program, I found the normal modes of oscillation for this three mass system. Let me show you the system. So here are three masses connected by springs and the normal modes are the, uh, I can find that with the initial conditions that give them the motion, the mass of these three motions, the same uh, frequency of oscillation. And so I'll animate that in a second, but you can see here these all are moving with the same angular frequency. Um, and that's how you do that. Now, there, you could find these normal modes with the eigenvalue problem, but you would have to take the determinant of a three by three matrix, and you do not want to do that. I mean, you can do it in Python, but no one wants to take the, the determinant of a three by three matrix with variables in there. It's just no fun. It's really no fun. I don't want to do that. And the, the next way I did that was, I thought it was fun. I said, okay, well, what if I have um, a vector Remember, because I'm taking a vector multiplied by a matrix, and I want to get the same vector back. So I want to do that operation and then see if those two vectors are in the same direction. And if they're not, do another direction. Pick another vector. And so I, I for my vectors, I picked the, uh, I, I moved it around in spherical coordinates, changing theta and phi. And so here's that program. Now, the, the, the problem was, how do you plot that, right? How do I make a plot where I change theta and I change phi? And I want to plot the difference between those, the magnitude of the cross plot is what I'm, do, I'm plotting. Well, I'm using WebVPython, which I love, and it has great graphing, but it doesn't have a 3D surface plot. That would be nice, right? Theta, phi, and then uh, the, the magnitude of the cross product. So instead, what I did was to make this graph. So this is an animated graph of theta versus the cross product versus theta. You can't see that a little bit. Uh, and, and then I, I change, it animates with changing phi. So I do get a 3D, and she's using time as my other coordinate. And it looks kind of cool. And you can see whenever this curve drops down to zero, that's where you'd get an eigenvector, right? That would correspond to an eigenvector. And then I print those out, and then I checked them, and it worked. So I really wanted to do the 3D print, though, a 3D plot. And then I thought, well, I do have 3D. I have... 3D visualizations with vPython, web vPython. So what if I, instead of, of plotting a graph, I plot the cross product as a distance from the origin. And so when the cross product gets zero, these points will go back to the origin. Let's do that. Okay, so I actually played with it a little bit and it looks cool, so I wanna reproduce that. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's just change this program. I've already made a copy of it. Uh, everything's the same. Uh, I have this, my K matrix right there. I have my way of doing a product between a matrix and a vector, uh, which is not built into GlowScript Web vPython. So I had to do that. Uh, and then this just goes through a double loop. I go through phi, I go through uh, theta, and then I keep doing it again and again. So but what I want to do is to, to, to plot points in 3D space too. So let's, let's start adding some 3D stuff here. So let's make um, a, a point at the middle. I'm just going to call it a ball. And it's sphere. And I'll put it at the origin. The position is vector 0, 0, 0. Uh, the radius is going to be equal to, let's say, r over 40. I think that's good enough. OK. Now let's just try this really quickly. Um, so I, as I change theta and phi, I actually make this vector a, a, x, a, y, a, z. I'm just going to plot that. I'm not going to plot the cross box. I just want to see if it's all working correctly. And I want to get the size of the balls and stuff. So now I'm just going to plot a ball at that vector A location because that's centered at the origin. So let's see if that works. So I'm going to say, I'm not even going to say, give it a name. I'm just going to say sphere. You don't have to name it. It'll just draw it. Uh, the position is going to be A. Uh, the radius is going to be equal to, um, let's say, R over 100. And the color is yellow. Okay, so remember, I'm changing, uh, I'm going all the way around the circle, and then I'm changing theta. So it should be building up um, to, to a sphere. I think this will work. Let's run it. There we go. So there you go. See, you can see phi is, theta is changing. Wait, this is plotting. I'm changing theta. Did I get my theta and phi backwards? Well, that's fine. And you can see it is indeed uh, building up a sphere, but it's really slow. And that's because I have like a billion points. So let's just change 
that real quick. I don't want a billion points. Let's change this to uh, two, zero, two. Let's change it to zero, five, and five. And now let's run it. Okay, that's better. And I mean, that's just in of itself. I mean, it's super cool, right? Because you can see how it builds. Let's actually slow down the build rate. Let's change it, make it go half as fast. And let's just see that. It's kind of cool. You see how it's building up? That's just cool. I like that. And you can zoom in. And now I'm inside the sphere. And I, I'll, but that's just a, that's just a sphere. Now what I want to do is to change the length of each one of those points um, by by that value of the cross product. Let's see if we can do that. Okay, so here's my C that is the cross product, um, and it has a magnitude of one. So let's just move this right here because I want to do it after that C, and then I'm going to put uh, the position is. Not, it's A, would it be A times the, the magnitude of C, right? Is that what I want? Yeah, the magnitude of C. I don't want C, because C is the cross product. That's something different. So I want to multiply this by the magnitude of C. And now the length will be the, the value of that cross product magnitude. If, if it's a, that means that if it is an eigenvector, C will be zero, and so it'll go back down to the origin. Okay, let's run this. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Okay, let's see. Let's make this a little bit better because I, I think I probably have, I could do more points. And there's got some, let's, let's see if we can make a few more points. Um, let's go to, um, so phi goes from zero to two pi and theta goes from zero to pi. Uh, so if I want to have equal numbers, I would need um, more st steps. No. So I want to have so I need more steps in the theta. Let's just try that. So let's say this d phi. Um, let's try this. D phi is two, and this one's four. I think I might get that backwards. Let's just try it. Yeah, that's running pretty fast, but I think I got those backwards but I don't really care. Look at that. You can see inside. Oh, did it freeze up? No, it's gone. Okay, I'm pretty happy. Let's switch that. But now what I want to do, I want to do one more thing, right? I want to clearly show those eigenvectors, the values of those, which is the direction of A. So the first thing I can do is switch these two because I think that's backwards. Two, four, and now down here, before if, if, if the magnitude of the cross product is less than some value, then, then I print out a thing. Let's make that a little bit bigger. Let's say this is uh, one. That might not be big enough. Let's just run that and see if it prints out stuff. I'm going to change this to 100, even though I think it's going as fast as it can anyway. Let's see if it's print. Okay, it is printing out some values. So that's good. I probably don't need the graph. It just makes things slower. But it is cool, very cool. Okay, so what I want to do is to say if if it's like an eigenvalue, I'm going to um, I want to print out I want to plot a ball, but I want to make it a different color. Okay, so let's do this. Let's say um, let's put this down here. Put it after the loop after this. So it's right there. Now let's make a color variable. So I'm going to say uh, CT, temporary color, is color.yellow. And then if this value is true, then I'm going to say CT uh, equals color.cyan. And then here I'm going to put color is CT. Oops. That's it. Um, I could make, I could make the radius smaller and then make a bigger radius, 
Uh, let's do that. So let's make this smaller. Um, and then let's make, uh, no, let's do this. Oh, what, I need to cut that. I don't want that up there. Um, let's just do this as RT. Oops. RT. Temporary radius. And then I will say RT equals R divided by 200. And if it's an, an important point, I'll say RT equals R divided by 100. So we be bigger. That should work. Let's see what happens. I don't see any... I don't see any points. See, these should be points. Maybe I just need... Oh, look at that. I'm inside the thing. Look at that. What the heck? Okay, that's fine. Let's just, I, I'm sure I can fix this. Let's just make this um, point 0.1. Then I'll get some. I'm sure I'll get some. Oh, there they are. There they are. They're my eigenvalues. Look at that. And they, you'll notice that they are perpendicular to each other. The normal mode should be in uh, the orthogonal. I, I could make it a little bit smaller because now I'll make these things shorter. But I, I'm pretty happy. Look at that. Look at that. Whew, I don't know. I just don't want to stop. I just want to look at this for a little bit. But let's zoom out a little bit. I want to be inside this weird structure there. This is so cool. Okay. I want to like run it and with more points, but I'm done. I think I showed what I wanted to show. And and that's just weird visualizations with with this 3D stuff. You can you don't have to make a 3D plot. You can do something else. And that's kind of cool. Okay, so I'll give you a link to this code down below. And if you want to print out this picture, which I totally do, and hang it up on your refrigerator. You might want to do that and change the colors. I tried, actually, I did try changing the opacity of these outer ones. So they're partly transparent, but my goodness, it slows everything down. You would not believe. I don't know why. I should try it on my other computer, but that's that. Okay, have fun with this.